Hey everyone, welcome back to another further tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to add our phone authentication in our Flutter app by the use of Firebase. Let's see the demo first. When we click on sign in with phone, it opens the dialog box. When we enter our number with our country code, I have entered my country code and we have sent the code. Firebase verified the robot or not and it's navigate to the next screen when it send the OTP I have received my, my OTP in my Google device and I have verified my OTP you can see congratulations you have successfully logged in you have successfully registered our app with phone verification let's check our Firebase don't forget to enable the phone and Google and when we see on the user section you can see there is the phone number with provider phone icon by this way, you can achieve the phone authentication. We have learned this entire process step by step. Let's see the entire process. Before starting our phone authentication, first we have set up our project that require phone authentication. First, don't forget to initialize the Firebase. First, set up your project with Firebase. I have already uploaded this. Upload the video. If you have any problem to set up your Flutter project with Firebase, you can watch my video on YouTube. Now, we have set up our project that require the phone authentication. First, we have open our Firebase project and in our authentication section sign in method we have add a phone authentication method enable we have enable the phone authentication and save it you can see this only the 10 sms is free per day if you require more than that you need to add the billing account you need to require pay and another most important things you need to remember for your phone authentication you also need to enable the google authentication after enabling the google authentication i have already enabled the google authentication after enabling the google authentication you need to download your google service file and replace your old file with new file after enabling the google search for android setup you need to add sh key i have already added the sh key in my previous video or i have doing to google login and this is just simple you need to hit one simple command in your terminal it gives you the sha1 and sha256 key and you need to add hack. after you have adding sha key your android setup is completed for ios setup we go to the ios section and open in xcode i have already replaced my new google service.info if you have not replaced it after enabling the Google, first you have delete your old file and add the new file from here, add file to runner. After adding the new Google service.json, reverse client ID, you need to add this reverse client ID from here, copy, go to the runner section, info, URL types and click on add and paste in url schema you have pasted it here you can see this just we need to paste it after adding that you will leave from here you just need to add this for ios after adding this we have start our video 